July, that means we're through halfway through this year. Holy smokes, where'd the time go? Well, let's talk about it. Hey everybody, Doug Reynolds here, your College Glen neighborhood real estate specialist. Been living in College Glen and helping buyers and sellers in an amazing neighborhood for over 12 years now. I've been doing real estate for 17, but specifically living and focusing in College Glen for over 12 years now. And you can check out my website, collegeglenrealestate.com. Lots of great information about the community there and just keeping up to date with real estate information in College Glen. It's a great little neighborhood right along the American River Parkway, just in the eastern part of Sacramento. Awesome spot. So this is a quarterly update I do every quarter. I do a monthly, quarterly, and annually up to annual update of the market. And so we just finished the second quarter of 2022. So let's talk about quarterly what's gone on in College Glen real estate and what's going on in the market right now. All right. So Q2 2022, wow, it's a lot of twos. Okay, we had 17 homes. These are single family homes in College Glen that closed escrow. Down just a little bit from the first quarter, down quite a bit from a year ago. The market is just not, a year ago, the market was just crazy hot. Things were just going like insane. And now we're in a lot more of a normal kind of balanced market. So, those that's those numbers are showing that we had a decent amount of closings but in comparison to last year just significantly less that's just the way that it is with the market right now um average sales price has gone all the way up to 575 as the average price of those 17 that closed escrow now those that closed a lot of them that closed in the quarter two that was at the kind of peak of the tail end of the crazy market that was still in the first part of this year so we had some kind of high closings come in there that were still in that sort of wild market before the market has kind of tamed down since then so we got a real high average sales price up just a little bit from the first quarter and then up significantly from a year ago because of the fact that so many homes were selling, there was so much buyer demand, so many multiple offers going around the last year, two years, prices have just ratcheted up so much. I don't think we're gonna be seeing that much price growth happening as we move forward in the next few quarters or a year from now, we're not gonna see that big of a jump happening any longer. But you can see average days on the market, stuff moved quickly. If it's priced right, it will move fast. Uh, I've sold a few properties in the second quarter in, in College Glen this year, and they moved, we priced it right, and they moved with a couple of offers over list price within three, four, five, six days on the market. So, um, but there's some that are overpriced and they're sitting and having to have some price reductions there. And you can see that 19 days on the market in the first quarter, usually that's kind of indicative of the, the slower winter months, slows down a little bit. So that was what's going on. So pretty high average sales price there. I don't think we're gonna be seeing explosive price growth with that going on. Still seeing sales happening, but we've kind of had a tampering of that, you know, roller coaster just continuing to kind of go up and things. So uh, we're kind of at a little bit of a constant now, kind of in that uh, mid 500 ranges, depending on the house and all that kind of stuff and everything. Um, but. If you're a buyer, it's a great neighborhood, great place to get into. Just be ready. Some of them that come on, they're really nice properties. They're really dialed in, and there's a number of buyers that are going after it. Other ones, they're maybe not dialed in quite as much or a little bit on the high side, and they're maybe taking a few weeks or they need a little price reduction or something to go on. If there's something sitting and you like it, don't wait until they reduce that price. Write an offer and negotiate it down, okay? Um, if you're a seller wise to get it priced right, I recommend pricing right from the beginning. Work with your agent that knows what they're doing and knows the area and knows how to price it right. But if you've been on for a few weeks, it's showing you that it's time that you need to adjust down. And most buyers, they're not gonna write an offer unless you're at that spot and then they'll write that offer on it, okay? Uh, so I hope you're having a wonderful summer. It, once again, my website, collegeglenrealestate.com. Feel free to give me a call, a text, an email. If you're a neighbor, you gotta sell and move out of the neighborhood for any reason, or you're looking to buy and become a neighbor of mine, give me a call, love to meet with you. 
talk about the process and get you all dialed in. I look forward to talking to you soon and clear skies.